Guys, we are back at Replay Guitar Exchange in Tampa, Florida with Riff with Cliff. What's up, dude? Hey, Jason. How are you, man? Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Good, good, man. Thank you for having me as always. So, Absolutely. Guys, I've been wanting to try this for a while. So real quick backstory. You guys know I have the Black Star Amp 3. I got an endorsement deal uh, with Black Star, but there's one unit that I have not played yet, and I've been wanting to try it for a very specific purpose, and it is their Amp 2. Yes, and we just got one here. So shout out to Jeff as our rep for Black Star. It is kind of like Christmas because it's red. You know, we just need some green in here. <laughs> so it'll be like a Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, but why I'm opening this, and we're about to just plug this thing in, um, I'll tell you the reason why I'm getting it uh, or I'm not getting this I'm just playing through it I might get it who knows <laughs> dude this thing is difficult to open I don't want to tear the box all right I think we can get this uh, the struggles guys any case um, I'm, I want something like this for my live solo <laughs> gigs I'll go into that more after after I jam through this thing and this is really <laughs> here we go guys I got it <laughs> oh man I'm, I'm, this box is like a delicacy here. I want to keep it just, you know, like that. So, yeah, that's the Amp 2, well, the box <laughs> by Black Star. So, guys, I'm going to plug this thing in. I'm going to jam through it, and I'll talk more about the specific reasons why, um, why I kind of want this thing. excited that we actually got one here yeah. at uh, the guitar shop uh, because they're really versatile and you get so many different options out of it and I know as an artist now you definitely stand by them I yeah I do man I love the amp 3 that I have and I, I want to say it's geared uh, more towards the the metal side of things this here as you guys just heard 
Get some good metal tones out of it. I mean, you've got like three different uh, amp options, if you will. You've got the USA, uh, the UK, and the Classic. I found the Classic brought in more gain, more of the high gain. Um, you also have some pretty cool clean sounds on here as well. And you can change the responses, just like on the Amp 3, you can change the response from EL34 to the 6L6 to the EL84. I tend to always I would say always, but most of the time, 90% of the time, lean towards the EL34. Yeah, I think Guitar Talk, man, like it's cool that you have so many different options yeah. because you can really shape your tone. So yeah, I know that this has the uh, USA, the UK, and the classic mode, yeah. which is really cool. You talked about like you were able to change the tubes, but you can also change that kind of thing too. Yeah. And I think that UK sound is kind of a bright tone and I just cool. prefer it. I mean, for rock and metal and pretty much for everything. Yeah, man. me I too. Just, I just like that sound. But you've got the other options. Just because I like it and me and Cliff, we, we like it, doesn't mean you have to like it. That's the best thing about this thing is options. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think because you and I like it, they probably should like it, right? You should like it, absolutely. It's <laughs> but, got good taste. <laughs> yeah, but again, you have the other options on there, guys. So uh, it's a cool unit. I, I love the fact that they include the effects. You've got uh, three different types of choruses, three different delays, reverb. So, and you got the drive pedal there, too. You've got the, the boost, the drive, and the fuzz. So you've just got a, a lot of different options. And I think where the strength of things like these amp pedals, like the Amp 2, the Amp 3, and even other brands out there, the strength is that we have knobs instead of having to deal with the technology part of a lot of us. I mean, I love technology. We all love being in our DAWs and recording and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. But sometimes we don't want to move the mouse to change things, you know? Yeah, and something about physical interaction on yeah. a piece of gear is, is really kind of cool. It just makes yeah. you feel like, I don't know, it's like my precious. My you know? precious, yeah, there's <laughs> something to that. We, we gotta, we've got to talk about the guitar I played real quick. But yeah, we should. One more thing, so speaking of technology, you know, Blackstar did a really good job of mirroring the, the analog, you know, the, just the hardware with the technology, because even though I mic'd this, and by the way, real quick, <laughs> I mic'd this, what you heard, uh, I mic'd this uh, through a Marshall cab here. 112. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 112 cab, ran it through uh, ran it through Studio One, PreSonus Studio One. I, I'll bring my laptop here sometimes and my little PreSonus interface that thing's so old, <laughs> like 2009 or something, uh, and I'll record it. And the mic, uh, the mic itself is the Shure Beta 57, right? Yeah, Beta 57, uh, Super Cardioid. Yeah. Fantastic microphone. It's like the WD-40 of microphones. You got to have one. But you're talking, I kind of got off track here, talking about mirroring the, the analog, you know, the physical hardware with technology. So Blackstar also has what's called, I believe it's called their Blackstar Architect, which is their cab rig software. Uh, you guys have seen my prior videos on the Amp 3 where I dig into that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to connect this directly to your computer, uh, via the USB cable that comes with this, you can do that even without an interface. So I, I didn't demonstrate it in this video, but you guys, you guys saw my Amp 3. If you didn't, you know, of course, go back and check that out. But I show you how to use that. So you can use this in multiple ways. You can you can connect it to your computer. Of course, you can run it through an interface if you mm -hmm. want to do that. If you, if you want to just deal with the one interface, uh, or you can mic it like we just did to a cab. Or on that note, you could run the line out. There's a line out on here. You could run that directly to a soundboard. There's so, so much you can do with this thing. <laughs> It's a, it's like a very intuitive pedal board, honestly. It's your yeah. whole rig, your whole rig right there. And so. real quick, the reason why I was looking at this, I like the Amp 3 that I got. I love it for the studio and for the metal stuff that I do. But some of you know, or most of you know, I play live acoustic solo gigs, which I bring an electric guitar. Sometimes I'll loop an acoustic rhythm and I'll pick up the electric and play some solos over it. That's kind of what I've become known for, I yeah. guess, around town. I've been playing through the Line 6 Pod Go, and I like the tone I'm getting out of that. It's, it's mm -hmm. great for that purpose, but the digital component seems to overheat in our extreme Florida temperatures. Yeah, wow, man. that's crazy, man. I know it's it's brutal out there. Yeah, so I don't think this thing, well, I probably wouldn't have the problem with this thing here. So well, I've been thinking about switching. This has that little fan. Yeah, I got a little fan in the back there, so. Uh, that's pretty crazy though, man. Well, so does that unit just like shut off? It's only happened a couple of times. It's only happened like really just twice where at the end of a four hour set at a very specific gig out, out in Bradenton, this winery. I play out in Bradenton, Fear Early Winery. Uh -huh. Cool place. And I've got a stage, I've got covering and all that, but it's just, it's out in the open and the heat is brutal. So it's only happened twice. At the very tail end of it, it starts cutting out. So I'll have to <laughs> unplug 
my acoustic and, and just plug it into the board directly. Yeah, that's so, wild, dude. Yeah. Too hot outside. Yeah. Let's finish. talk about this guitar, dude. Yeah, let's talk about the guitar. But that, that was the reason why I was thinking about getting something like the amp, too, because I have the effects. Uh, when you're playing live solo gigs, it's just you. Of course, my wife, she's helping me. But, it, you know, it's just you setting up, tearing down. I'm playing two or three of these weeks. So the less I have to carry, the better. So Absolutely. this unit with all the effects, you know, that's all I need it's for it. the electric. It's a whole rig. Tell me about this guitar, man, because it, okay, it is so nice. First of all, I ordered this like a year ago or something. Like I ordered it a long time ago and it took a long time for it to come into the shop, but I'm really happy that it did. Uh, this is a USA Charvel and it is awesome. Uh, this is the this is a DK24 and there are some special things going on with it. First of all, that it is a USA piece. So it's not often that we get a USA Charvel here. Yeah. So it's kind of a special occasion. It does have a roasted flamed neck. Yeah, roasted sounds like coffee too. It just sounds good. You yeah, know? that's that dark, <laughs> that dark look. Yeah, it just looks delicious. Um, and then the 24, 24 frets, we have a HSS configuration. So humbucker, single, single, and cool. yeah, five-way selector. And then volume and a tone. The top is a quilted maple top. I love that top, man. That yeah. finish is beautiful. Gorgeous, right? It. Yeah. Locking and tuners. Yeah, the locking tuners on the back. Yeah. It's a shred machine, dude. And this thing sounds good. It, it plays great. You yeah. guys heard it earlier through the amp too here. But the more I played this guitar, the more I started to really fall in love with it. Uh, it has the true jumbo frets, which I love. It so does. And awesome. the, the bridge here is a two-point floating bridge too, so you can kind of do some... Some really cool stuff. Well, speaking of this guitar and the amp too, I mean, you guys have it right here at Replay Guitar Exchange. So guys, I have a link to the Replay Guitar Exchange store. Uh, it's replayguitar.com. That yep. link's in the description of this video. Uh, click on their site, guys. They do free shipping. You guys do free shipping US, right? We do, yeah. So if you are in California but worried about shipping, fear not. Fear not. Fear not, yeah. Replayguitar.com. You can take a look at our whole inventory. Guitars, pedals amps all of it and i like to feature that because you guys are kind enough to let me come here and, and film some cool stuff for my audience man Absolutely, and this is bro. cool i know you guys enjoy these <laughs> uh leave me coming. any questions guys about the black star amp 2 and uh or the guitar and uh cliff and i will jump in there and answer the best we can absolutely guys thank you so dude thank you once again for having me i appreciate you jason and i'll see you soon enough i know yes because we are going to uh film the metal replay so by the way there's a series on on the replay guitar exchange youtube channel the cliff and i started and mark uh he's somewhere out there somewhere we'll grab him uh called metal replay so i'll, I'll throw a video up there to our latest metal replay some cool metal gear that you guys will uh, love to check out. Guys, thank you for watching. Please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Until the next time, keep it metal.